I knew I should have worn a suit. Um, <laughs> Jacob is Dom's brother. John, when you were first pitched the idea of playing Jacob, Dom's brother, what was your first reaction, honestly? Yes. <laughs> uh, without, like, without, without hesitation, yes. And it was like, hey, we'd like you to, yes. It could be like, we'd like you to be uh, sanitation services on the set of Fast and Furious. We'd like you to deal with our shit all day. Yes, absolutely. Okay, no problem. Can you make coffee for Vin Diesel's assistant? Yes, I absolutely. can. Absolutely, yes, I do. Uh, I just, it's, it's one of those opportunities that you, you really, you'd really have to have a, a definitive path in your life to say no to. It's, 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 it's really, especially now that the Fast franchise is such a churning monster on its own, and they have such a diverse and full menu of people involved with it. They don't need any more. So like, mm. hey, this is a multi-billion dollar franchise. You want to be a part of it? Wow, people from all over the world are going to be able to see my work? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. You always say never turn your back on family, but you turned your back on me. Now your little family is in my world. Amazingly, someone put together a list of all the times someone said the word family in the Fast and Furious movies. Can you hazard a guess, not including this new movie, how many times the word family has been said? There's all kinds of family, Brian. Eight installments. Said Han was family. Certainly a Corona barbecue at every one. We're family. That really is the, the narrative of the whole franchise. Family yeah, just got bigger. <laughs> I will say... Uh, hundred times a million unions, 500. <laughs> the perfect answer to a stupid question. The correct answer is 44. See? And why not? Only 44. I don't have friends. I got family. I'm thinking it's so prevalent and so here that it's 500. It's only 44. It's only 44. Yeah, in eight oh. movies. But the most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Right here. Right now. Salute me, familia. Salute. 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 Jordana, I've got a question for you, which goes like this. You ready? Yeah. It's not even a question. Look who's back. Mia! <laughs> He's got his own private army. We need help. We get a fantastic fight scene in Japan where you do what I like to think of, a bit of a Jason Statham move, and mm -hmm. clack someone around the head with a frying pan. Yeah. Whatever's on you, is you ready? it's on us. I mean, that must have been the moment in the script when you went, yes, no, I'm definitely back, definitely. It was really, really gratifying. I loved that Justin was like, yes, you will get action, but I'm gonna make it so that you guys are in a tiny, tiny kitchen and you have to use whatever props are available, so that it was sort of like, dirty. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was mm -hmm. kind of like Better Luck Tomorrow, where it was like indie filmmaking, and we just had to, it, it wasn't like smooth and polished like the rest of the movie. So I, I like that it sort of stood out. It was really, really fun. No way. Well, well, well. Look who's <laughs> How does it feel? It feels great. I mean, it's, it's, it's like being welcome back to a family reunion, you know? It's good to be back. I tell you what really made me smile is the poster for your character for this film is you standing in front of a car, billows of orange smoke, and you're eating some snacks. Mm -hmm. And that just made me so happy because you even come back eating food in this <laughs> film. So how do y'all want to play this? Fast. We blow it all! Yeah, well that's my thing. That's the shtick, right? <laughs> y'all seen 10 second cars? Say hello to the two second God. Tyrese, well, you did it. You finally took Fast and Furious into space. Is that a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine? Impressive, I know. No, no, that's not impressive. Tell me your first honest reaction to seeing that in the script. I didn't think it was for me. <laughs> really, duct tape? 
You acting like we on our way to Home Depot. I don't think there's ever been this many billionaire civilians who have had rocket ships like SpaceX and Richard Branson with Virgin Galactica and whatever. It's so many people who have a pas passion for going into outer space. Why not our characters in a movie? Why not? Pussy! No chance! Ah! I don't want to die! I think we kind of beat a lot of people to it. Okay, this is a bad time to mention this, but I don't drive. Natalie, when they first pitched you the idea of you not being able to drive and then having to drive, what was your initial reaction? I found it hilarious because I also don't drive. <laughs> so it was just like a very funny way to kind of poke fun at that. And I just thought it was really, really great. Because to my mind, it was essentially therapy. It was your guilt of being part of Fast and the Furious, being brought to life. And then you get to have one of the most fun action set pieces of the whole film yeah. involving magnets. Did anybody ever try to explain whether or not it could have actually worked? Not to me personally. I'm sure that there was a conversation somewhere that that happened. But listen, you know, with, this isn't a like... Documentary. This is an action, fast and furious adventure. And, you know, I'm sure that in theory with the strong enough magnets, it, like it could happen. I believe it. You're a natural. <laughs> of course I am. I know a lot of people are talking about the truck flipping and, you know, the magnets in this movie. We get no white flag and no tree. We get the product. We get the truck. We supposed to stop that? Hold on! But I think you ziplining across the rooftops of Edinburgh, I was loving it. <laughs> Tell me some of that was real. Uh, some of that was real. <laughs> You're my favorite kind of actor, John. You're willing to lie to me to make me happy. I just, <laughs> I'm so grateful. I mean, speaking of the magnets thing, though, Letty. what was going on on set? Someone in theory is pressing a button and cars are just flying across. Yeah, the so and, and even to the zip lining example, practical. Yes, that's practical. And the uh -huh. use of magnets was indeed practical. So yes, that is exactly what happened. Someone would press a button and then cars would go flying into an object and stuff and cars would go flying away. So it, I really think like the practicality of them trying to do it in real time and wreck real stuff is, it, it really stands out. But like, man, thank goodness I wasn't around for all that magnet stuff. Or was I? Or was I? <laughs> I was going to say, how sick are you on a scale of 1 to 10 of all the jokes going? To be fair, Dom not remembering or referencing his brother makes sense when John Cena is playing him and he couldn't see him. How sick are you of that? that how sick am I? That's got me, that's got me into the ninth movie, man. I, I <laughs> technically could have been in this whole franchise from the beginning. I thought it, only, it was only applicable in a WWE ring when my opponent was incapacitated. But apparently, I'm really actually invisible. In Too Fast, Too Furious, you were amazing. Thank you. No one ever brings it up. Thank you. But you were... Thank you. I, I, you know, some critics have called it a lifeless performance. I was barely there. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very much. Crank it all the way up. We the soldiers. I will say this. If Fast 10 is not called Fast 10 Your Seatbelts, I think we've missed something. The universe must be cancelled <laughs> if that doesn't happen. I agree. John, it's been emotional. It's been a pleasure. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much. Um, and see you next time. Cheers, dude. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.